Hello everyone. In this video, I will teach you how to write a simple networking application in Java. So this is the first lecture of the series. So in this lecture, we will learn how to write a TCP server, how to and a TCP client. So first, we will write a TCP server. So for TCP server, we need to import networking library networking classes so that class is actually coming from package java.net.star so we will make our server the name of our server let's say make it my server so in order to make uh, a server in java what we have to do we have to create an object of server socket class so we will write uh, a main method and this method we will create a server socket class object and here we have to specify what will be the port number on the execution of this server port number actually specify application uh, IP address is used to deliver a packet to the target machine and on that machine which application has to receive that packet or that packet, uh, the received packet intent for which application? So <coughs> let's take it 2020. And so when you people try to use any port number, make sure this port number is greater than 1024 because these port number are already reserved for some other usage in operating system. So we are making our so server for 2020 port number. Now, next thing, <coughs> sorry, next thing we have to start our socket to listen connection request. So for that thing, a method has to be called. That method name is accept. So this method actually, whenever we call this method, our server start waiting for a request. So it will keep on waiting until unless it will receive a request. On as soon as it will receive a request. It will return a socket class object. So this socket class object actually re represents the connection between server and client. Now here, uh, so these, so uh, do one thing. What we will do here? Uh, here we will print system dot out dot print and that our server is waiting, waiting for connection so that we would know when it is waiting and when it is connected and here we will print connection established so the server program is done we will save it on desktop let's say so my server dot java so we will try to Compile this program to see whether there is any error or not. So we will compile this program. My server dot Java. Mm, so okay. So <coughs> as you can see, uh, when we try to use the server socket classes, there are a chances of unreported exception, IU exception. So in this code, one exception is thrown. So one way is that we can handle that exception using try catch. Another way we just simply specify that one exception is thrown in this code because this exception is a checked exception. Okay, throw IO. So there is count. So this is uh, let's we have written it uh, let me try again i o e x e p okay there is um, so we don't want to make it specific so let's Okay, it uh, make it exception only exception class. Okay, so now it's fine. 
so uh, our server is done now let's create a client so for client also we need to import java.net.package and we will make my client and in public static void main string argument which is a command line argument and here for client for client we need to create only socket class object and this class constructor need to argument one what is the IP address of the server so initially we will run server and client program on the same machine so here that's why server also running on the same machine so same machine we have it. 127.0.0.1 which is a local host address and here we have to specify port number so as soon as this object will be created on the server side execution of exact method will be completed so here we will print system dot how dot connection established let's save this program my client.java so here also we will be having same problem so we will throw that exception the another approach uh, we will use try catch so that is a better one for tutorial purpose I am uh, showing here this checked exception throw so here I will compile that code java c my client.java Okay, so compilation of both program is done. So here we will compile our, oh sorry, we will run our server program. So here if you can see, our server program has started. And in our server program, this accept method actually cause a, uh, because of this accept method, our server program got stuck. So when this uh, program will be resumed, whenever it will receive a client request so as you can see as soon as I will execute this my client program it will send a request to server uh, and the execution of this statement will be over and server side it will print connection established client side uh, it also print connection established so let's try to run server a uh, sorry client program so here if you can see here also connection established here also connection established so th in this video we have learned how to write a simple client and simple server to demonstrate the connection between them for uh, further tutorials for message exchange for chat server development refer our next lecture thank you very much